To sew a curved reinforced seam, first I drew a line on the 15 millimeter line or 1.5 centimeters from the edge. I line it up on the 15, put the foot down so that I'm at least a centimeter of, um, of fabric underneath, needle down, sew a few stitches, reverse back a few stitches, and I started on the straighter side of the curve, not the curvier side of the curve, because it is easier to sew in a straight, but now I'm into the curve and I have to pull, maneuver the fabric to keep the needle sewing on that line that I drew and to keep the edge on the 15. So if I don't change anything, I won't be able to follow the curve. So you have to be a little more deliberate. Come to the end and reverse a few stitches. Cut your threads and the originals. And now because curved seams tend to be a little bit weaker, they can rip more easily, there's more pressure on them, we need to reinforce it. So you're going to line the foot up very close to that line I just sewed. I'm going to sew to the right of it, on the inside of the seam, just a few millimeters away. I want those two sewing lines really close together so that they're stronger. So you have to do the same technique, pulling the fabric, being a little more deliberate, and then reversing at the end. So this curved reinforced seam should be much stronger now. And now, if this were the rise on your boxers, you would either A, have surged this beforehand, or B, go and surge it now, so that you could finish these edges. But for us, for the sample, we're not going to bother surging, but we will take it to the steamer and press it flat. I'm going to use the tailoring hem to press this curved reinforced seam. I'm going to put it wrong side up, and I'm going to pick a side, either to the right or to the left, Instead of opening it, I'm going to press it to the side because it's sewn together um, more so and depending how you surged it, it also possibly could be surged closed. So the straight part is not so bad. When you get to the curvy part, you may want to move it slightly, maneuver it, press that curve on the curve to the side, trying not to get creases and ridges on the other parts. Sometimes it's pretty hard not to do that, so you can always press them out if you did get them inadvertently. Press on the wrong side, press on the good side. Get that seam nice and flat and professional looking. And there you have it.